Things are heating up as we get into the hot tags of the week and run down what's going on in wrestling. Four hot tags that I have on the docket to talk about. First things first, Fandango suffers a broken nose against The Miz on Raw. They kind of made a bigger deal about this than what I had seen. Was it mostly on the um, the app? Yeah, it was on the app and the website that they really made a big deal about it. Like, I, I completely missed it when I was watching Raw, actually. And to be fair, I had company, so I, I was a little bit distracted. But when I was uh, looking for images for the Raw post show to put on YouTube, I noticed that there was a large chunk of them that were in black and white. I was like, what the crap? And then I noticed the stains on Fandango's face. I was like, when the hell did that happen? They put them in black and white? Yeah, that's what Why? they do with, uh, with, uh, because you can't show blood. It's not PG. Oh, that's so, they so make it stupid. Black and white. They've been doing that for mad long. You never saw that? No, I never. They do that when they show replays, too. That is so ridiculous. But, um, yeah, freaking Miz, hurting people again. <laughs> I, I don't know how this guy keeps getting allowed to go out there and do this stuff. But I'm only worried is, like, what's this going to mean for Fandango? Is he going to have to miss time for this? How bad is it broken? Uh, we were postulating on keeping kayfabe last night. Maybe he can come out with a mask. I think it would be cool if he had, like, a, like a masquerade-type mask with, like, feathers and designs on it. That could be really fitting for him. That'd be cool. It's probably not a huge deal, though. I've never broken my nose, so I don't know. Yeah. Well, he finished the mask like a champ. <laughs> like, he can anything. anything. <laughs> uh. Yeah, he didn't look away this time. He didn't quit. Yeah, because then Miz might have had to, you know, try and beat the shit out of him by stomping the shit out of him and get uh, removed from ringside by referees yelling at him. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, all I can say is he's a lot stronger than Sin Cara. So I give him all the props in the world for finishing the match. I really don't think he's going to miss any time. I mean, he even, like, tweeted pictures of his own broken nose after, like, the next day. So... Uh, I think we'll see him as quick as next week. I don't know what they're going to do to maybe prevent any further damage, but uh, the, the mask might be a really good idea, as uh, Peyton suggested. So uh, we'll have to wait and see. But one tough motherfucker that dancing Fandango is. I tell you what, it definitely added a whole new flame to this Miz and Fandango feud. Yeah. Before you could really figure out why these guys are fighting, other than just hey, here's two guys with nothing to do. Now Fandango has something to go and get retribution for. Yeah, you know, I thought Miz was getting retribution for uh, him interrupting his uh, SummerSlam hosting skills, though. So that's, that's where all the tension started. Next thing to talk about is another injury. Christian suffers a concussion against Randy Orton. What the fuck? <laughs> so that one more so than the Fandango one, I would think, will end up keeping him out for a while. They take the uh, concussions pretty seriously. And thank God I dropped him from the uh, Fantasy League. I really can't believe this. I mean, these last couple, like the last two, three years, he's just racked up injury after injury, hasn't he? With age, it's just, wow. He's never on the roster anymore for more than a couple months at a time. Even when he's not actually injured, they make him seem injured like they did with the Del Rio match. <laughs> Poor Christian. Or, or... Or they, or he gets cleared to return, but they keep him off TV because they have nothing written for him. So his recovery seems like it's like a full year. He might yeah. be out for six months and they tack another six months on because they have nothing for him. It's like breaking news on WWE.com. Christian suffers paper cut out for 10 months. <laughs> <laughs> It'll happen, I'm telling you. Ooh, this you know what good. makes me laugh about this whole situation? But, I just what? think that people shouldn't take their own theme music literally, you know. When it says just close your eyes, that don't mean the whole fucking damn match. <laughs> so he needs to see where he's going. <laughs> what do you think about this, Peyton? Uh, I don't really have much of an opinion. I was never a huge Christian fan. I, I think he got his big match of the year. I think if he needs to go away for a lot of while, it's a shame that only because they're so shorthanded at the moment. You know, they got Cena out, they got Sheamus out, they got Kane out. Having another big name like Christian, who is a reliable person that they can send out there and go out and have match of the night with Randy Orton when they need him to, no problem. Um, so it, I, I guess he'll be missed. But it, like I said, he had his big match of the year. It's not like he was going to be going into any more title matches anytime soon. So it's a good time for it to happen. You're much more of a Buddhist fan? Huh? Oh, man. <laughs> I had to. What the hell? So we went from two injuries, and now the two other hot tags are about couples, which is very odd. Titus O'Neil is dating Omarosa from the fucking uh, The Apprentice show. 
Who? I can't see that couple. <laughs> wait, wait, who's dating who? Titus O'Neil is apparently dating Omarosa, the total bitch from Donald Trump's first uh, show. Yeah, but you know what you do with bitches, don't you? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> uh, he's got a big dick, it's fine. <laughs> Speaking from experience. I, I have. I've been sitting there looking at Titus O'Neil dick porn the whole week. <laughs> I just say, even though you guys have explained who this person is, I just I'm once again ask Titus O'Neil is dating who? Yeah, he um she is, is it... <laughs> she was the fiance of Michael Clark Duncan. Oh, uh, well, obviously she's yeah. So that makes sense specific, with uh... Uh, specific look, big Jack bald uh, blackmails apparently. Yep. Yeah. So that was what this is obviously a really slow news week in WWE. That was like one of the stories that I had seen pop up everywhere. And another one of them is that another new couple in WWE, although it's like unconfirmed, but it's, you know, typical uh, scoop, scoop, scoops type crap. Randy Orton and Jojo Offerman from Total Divas. She's what, 19, 19 and he's like 37 or something. He's going for like Justin Gabriel to oh, Orton. Orton's like, uh, I think he's 30, 32, 33. Don't he's in his early 30s. Just think about it. If she breaks up with him, he's probably going to shit in her bag. <laughs> he's probably just going to get her fired is what's going to happen. Yeah, and then shit in her bag. Maybe that'll be like her pink slip. <laughs> and this guy comes off a divorce. He's already moving fast. He really is yeah. a viper now, isn't he? His ex-wife already divorced him because he, like, defecated in her bag as well. <laughs> it's an impulse. Come, so you can't control that stuff sometimes. Randy, for fuck's sake, we have five bathrooms in this house. <laughs> I always find my handbag. <laughs> Sorry, honey. Have to shit in it. Yeah, it's like, okay. like got an obsessive compulsive disorder. She takes <laughs> I like have to it. strike. <laughs> She takes him to a, a bag store, and out of nowhere, there's like turds in every single bag. <laughs> she, so, she I don't get help. I don't know where um, where this started. I don't know if this is legitimate or if this is one of those just ridiculous rumors that happens when you hear everything from Tamina Snuka's dating Darren Young to uh, this person fucked everybody on the roster and all that. Who knows? But really. In the grand scheme of things, who cares? JoJo's not really doing much. Randy Orton's the champion right now, but it's not like JoJo being attached to him is ever going to really help him out. So, what the hell? If they're well, uh... it's gonna help him out, if you know what I mean, hey, hey, hmm? it's going to help him out. <laughs> Something. Yeah. What do you think, Peyton? Good for Orton. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what? Who cares? Stuff happens all the time, and that's why these women are on the roster most of the time. Anyway, it's not like they bring these women on to wrestle. I mean, maybe they get one or two women on there who actually have wrestling talent, mostly just because of who they know. Um, and the ones who aren't in there for that, they're they're there to be to be sidearms for the guys, you know, whether on camera or off camera. That's they're, they're not there to wrestle, <laughs> and certainly this girl is. And we haven't even seen her attempt to have a match. At least they put Eva Marie in a match at Access. What they have JoJo do, singing the freaking national anthem? Ooh. Best of luck with your future endeavors, kid. Braden? Like what, on Orton? Yeah. Uh, he moves fast. There we go. <laughs> Out of nowhere! <laughs> All right. Okay, blow. All right. Oh, it's awful. All right, guys. <laughs> I think we're going to take that note and start... Uh, rolling on to the next part and take a little bit of a break in part three.